Yo, dudes and dudes, this is Ketsu and this is 24 days of Meatmas in Project Zomboid. I woke up earlier than I wanted, but at least I didn't have nightmares that time. Almost. Good enough for me. Good morning, guys. I'm just not catching any mice. I threw another cheese down the wishing well and drew a shape on my map. There was a situation with the sacrificial hams, however. Ah, oh, I must make more. As luck would have it, because it certainly wasn't, because of my planning. I had me three corpses in the fridge. Two were in the freezer, actually. I had folded them tightly in there, and one of them was too frozen to be processed, so I had to thaw it in the oven. But eventually, I had some corpse bits, ready to be distributed. All done. Let's go deliver some joy! I just have to make sure my car was still there. Now that I have one, I'm very protective of it. My expedition to the first house went without a hitch, or so I'd like to say. Yo, okay. <laughs> was that one of you guys? For transparency's sake, I'm playing single player. Elisa's December. There you go. Enjoy your ham. Oh, this house has been burned. Well, who knows? Maybe someone is squatting over here. You never know. Happy holidays to all. I was almost finished with my task. Only one house left. Then, some cup rollers took offense to what I was doing. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh. I really didn't feel safe, so I did the tried and tested turn your bum towards the door while you push out your present technique. Um, Merry Christmas! It was this everything. It was! Oh, goody. How many more do I have? Or There is a big funeral home across the street. I went to hand them a ham too. That's going to put the fun in funeral, I'm sure. And see anything. And here's for the funeral home too. Keep working hard, guys. I'll go back home for now and plan my next course of action. I picked up a corpse on the way, removed its skin and stuffed it in my fridge. Now, where to next? This place is next. I have just three. Maybe it's enough. Let's go check it out. I changed my mind. Org is so thick that I'm actually scared. Something I've been wanting to do with the nails. The blanks. I'll close this one. Now I can just get up by holding E instead of going through the window. Much easier. And like so, I've eliminated part of the problem I had with the windows. I call it Getsu proofing. I took the rest of the blanks outside to show them the fog. Bridge has been expanded. Not much, but every little bit counts. After that, I read all my recipes and handed down my entire composition of used papers to my neighbor. At noon, I butchered all the corpses in my fridge, stuffed the meats in the oven, and I was almost ready to brave the fog again. Let's have a nice cup of coffee before going. I freaking love coffee. Yay! I'm, I made another one. Isn't it pretty? After setting up my second snowball lantern, I set out to move my legs towards south. While on the way, I collected some picky comments and found me a swine skirmish. Oh. Come on then, come on then. Yo. A clothing store, fashionable, or other such nonsense, was the first target of this excursion. But before I could force a present out of my inventory, I had to level down another porky. Oh. And see this one at all. Happy holidays to you guys. Enjoy. Whoa. And enjoy. Yes, my plan has been completed. Electron house, huh? Let's go check it out. The Electron house had a lot of, and you're not going to believe this, electronics. I started breaking down some stuff I knew I wouldn't ever need. Oh boy, I'm hungry. Where's my pocket chicken? Nye, 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 I ate it already. There we go. I don't even need that level anymore. I have a car now. Yes, I genuinely didn't need that level up anymore. Not for this run anyway. Following that epiphany, I discovered a back room with something useful for a change. Yes, I needed more cardboard boxes. There was still one big problem. I hunger. Hoping there'd be a break room. Of course there isn't. I picked up the rest of the fort building materials and started heading back home to get me some feed. But when I reached outside, I forgot all about my hunger. Very unlike me. Oh hey. The weather's a little better. What if I attack the next row of buildings? When dropping the fourth present on the ground, that door was really shaking. Hardly containing itself on its hinges, I laid down the eatable and checked the map right then and there, not understanding how bo how bo how bad of an idea it was. Oh Jesus, speaking hard. Oh! <laughs> If that door bursted down just a little earlier, I'd be picky provisions. Hey, about a few, about a few, about a few. What a big hungry sounder of piggies. Scary, scary, scary. I changed my mind, I'm going home. I'll grab one with me while going in. More boxes. Yeah. 
I wasn't exactly having the best of evenings. I hoped that I got away from the porkers, since I was tired and very much exhausted. If I had to fight now, I'd be in trouble. So the plan was, lay low, stay quiet, and mind my own business. Dang it, the door is getting a pounding. I guess I'll take care of it with the power of coffee. Yep, I can do it now. Oh no! There was more than I thought, but don't worry, I was also back to being tired. Two? I can handle two. It took many swings to bring them down, and the knowledge that there's many more left didn't make this exhibition any easier. Dang it, I'm way too exhausted and tired for this. Oh my, ma'am, why are you alone on this fine evening? <laughs> Escape up. I believe, after all this exercise, I'm going to sleep like a baby. Oh yes, you're the last one. Feel free to go down whenever. Phew. Finally. That was dangerous. That was about as fun as Star Wars Holiday Special. Well, maybe not that bad. I picked up a corpse on my way up. Even though I'm physically and mentally destroyed, I'm a cook first, damn it. The piggy body went to live in my fridge, and the piggy clothes moved into my boxes. What a rough day. It's sleeping time. I like sleeping. It's like being dead, without the commitment. Today, things got a little tough, but in the end, it was worth it. The drink on my lips made me believe so. In life, some days you will be the pigeon, and on the other days you will be the statue. Please up likes. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care now. Bye bye then.